Hey guys, in this Sling Tech video, I'm going to be talking to you about the attachment points for the bridles on the front of the kite. Now these are going to be labelled Freestyle and Wake Style. The easiest way to find and change these pigtails is if you approach the kite from downwind when it's sat on the beach. Lift up the wingtip and here you'll see underneath the wingtip Freestyle and Wake Style with two arrows pointing towards the pigtails below. Now you can adjust these pigtails by simply just undoing the lark's head and attaching it straight back on. Don't worry about the rest of the bridle. More importantly, how's this going to affect the kite? All the kites come in the freestyle setting. This is because it's the best all round setting where the kite will be most efficient, it will be fastest and it will also have the least amount of bar pressure and the most depower. When using the freestyle setting, the kite will really want to surge forwards and fly off the front lines in the best aerofoil shape. The freestyle setting will get the most performance out of the kite. It's my favourite setting for big air and just generally cruising around. I also always use this setting on any kite 12 meter and up. This is because bigger kites tend to be less efficient anyway because they're heavier, so you want to get all the performance you can out of a bigger kite. So generally, always use it on the freestyle settings for the bigger sizes. Now I'm going to talk about the wake style setting. So when you're using the wake style setting, the kite will sit further back in the window, it will have more bar pressure, be less responsive, and slower turning speed. The kite will feel like it's got more low end grunt. This is great for beginners who are finding the kite too fast or for people that want to unhook on smaller sizes. I generally always use it on the wake style settings on my eight meter when I want to unhook. When I'm in the park or when I'm trying to do some freestyle tricks, I'll have it on the wake style setting, but I'll have it on the freestyle setting if I want to do big air. Now, the only way to get a really true comparison about these two different setups is to try them both in the same conditions on the same day. So, to summarise, the freestyle setting will be faster, more responsive, have more D-power, and generally the best all-round setting. The wake style setting will be less responsive, it will have a bit less D-power, and the kite will sit further back in the window. Good for your smaller sizes if it's all happening a bit quicker. Hope that helped, guys. Thanks.